Good evening and welcome to the Chapel of the Resurrection All Saints for this service of Compline with exposition of the Blessed Sacrament for the Feast of Corpus Christi, which as I've said in previous little pieces to camera is one of the birthdays, if you like, of the Eucharist. A little more of that uh, anon. Uh, you should be able to follow the order of service from the PDF if you have access to it at the foot of the page on a church near you. Uh, I'll do my best to have updated as much of the text in the description box beneath this video as possible. Uh, you are invited uh, in your own way to join in the responses or to join in the psalm and the canticles. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend the sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 16. Preserve me, O God, for in you have I taken refuge. I have said to the Lord, You are my Lord, all my good depends on you. All my delight is upon the godly that are in the land, upon those who are noble in heart. Though the idols are legion that many run after, their drink offerings of blood I will not offer, neither make mention of their names upon my lips. The Lord himself is my portion and my cup. In your hands alone is my fortune. My share has fallen in a fair land. Indeed, I have a goodly heritage. I will bless the Lord who has given me counsel, and in the night watches he instructs my heart. I have set the Lord always before me. He is at my right hand, I shall not fall. Wherefore my heart is glad and my spirit rejoices. My flesh also shall rest secure. For you will not abandon my soul to death, nor suffer your faithful one to see the pit. You will show me the path of life in your presence is the fullness of joy, and in your right hand are pleasures for evermore. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil is prowling around like a roaring lion, 
seeking for someone to devour. Resist him strong in the faith. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, there wouldn't normally be an opportunity for a homily at night prayer or compline, but just because it is the day that it is, uh, a few more words about Corpus Christi, uh, which may seem ironic at a time where, as a church family, we are not able to share in those physical elements of the body and blood of Christ. Uh, it was a festival that was introduced, a feast introduced in the 13th century, and it celebrates the real presence of the body and blood of Christ, the real presence of Christ in amidst us. Now, some of you who may know a little bit uh, about pre-Reformation theology in the Western Church will know that this was predicated on the belief of transubstantiation, that is, these mortal elements of bread and wine were transubstantiated into the physical body and blood of Jesus. Now, if you are a sucker for punishment, that's uh, quite a, a tortuous explanation of that, uh, using various met metaphysical uh, formulas, um, but uh, we just, I believe, accept these things in faith, and in fact, in the Reformed tradition, which we are in the Church of England, we are Catholic and Reformed, we believe in the consubstantiation of these elements, that they are both at the same time, the body and blood of Christ, and also bread and wine. Uh, it is hard that we can't share these elements in uh, our common fellowship, but I hope that we will be able to soon, as I'm sure you have seen it's now possible for people to come for private prayer to their parish churches or any parish church or church building such as they're open. And please look for updates about our opening times here. Uh, I'm confident that they will be soon, even before the end of the month. So I would use this opportunity while we are still deprived as a church family of the bread and wine and the body and blood of Christ I would use that time to reflect on what Holy Communion means to us. And particularly to play devil's advocate a bit, as you know that I like to do. Um, is it really the case that we haven't kind of properly been to church and been in the presence of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, unless we have received Communion? Uh, as I'm sure you will remember, even in the relatively high church background from which I come, or at least sort of civic parish church background, that Holy Communion on a Sunday morning was not the default service. I'm talking here about modern times, not about sort of deep Victorian. I'm talking about the uh, mid-70s onwards. Uh, Holy Communion was not uh, the default service for a parish even like mine. You had very much to opt into it. And now we are in a culture where people, I think, perhaps believe they've not been to church unless they receive Communion. And it's a bit like everything. It's sort of chips with everything. So I hope we can use this time of continuing restriction on our church activity as a way of meditating on our relationship with Jesus, who is our brother and our friend, and our ability to receive Jesus in many different forms, spiritually for now, but in due course, and we pray in those elements which I'm sure we miss. Thanks be to God. Amen. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O oh Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. 
Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. And so we spend a few moments together, scattered as we are, in silent reflection as we reflect upon the mysteries of Holy Communion, the mysteries of the Passion, the Death and Resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And how we pray that soon as we are in spirit, so may we be in body together as that body of Christ, in the buildings that we love, as faithful servants of the communities we are called to serve. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you that in this wonderful sacrament you have given us the memorial of your passion. Grant us so to reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood that we may know you within ourselves and show forth in our lives the fruits of your redemption. For you are alive and reign with the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Visit our homes, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from them the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessing be always upon us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. Come with the dawning of the day and make yourself known in the breaking of bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Oh.